Owner and maker Jonathan Baker started out at his kitchen table doing leather work, and now he has a storefront here at the Melwood Art Center. So we're talking about your baby dead sled leather company, and you're showing us some of the steps it takes to get to these products. It takes a lot of time. Yeah, um, this is the number 56 DOP kit, a toiletry kit for men, a uh, makeup kit as well for women. Starts as this sheet of leather that we've hand cut out. Uh, once all the sewing is done, all the bags are inside out, so we have to flip them, and that's the most satisfying part. Yeah, to see your work, you know, be complete, and then yeah. for people to come in and buy it, how does that feel? It's like, it's very humbling, um, not only just be able to make something with your hands, but something that people want and that they can also utilize and use on a daily basis. How satisfying to see that come together. What was it's, it like the first time? The first time, it was like Christmas. Like <laughs> You couldn't believe it was happening in your hands, so. Not only do you make products like this in addition to like wallets and, and belts, but you also make something really cool for first responders. Yes, uh, we do a lot of uh, first responder goods such as radio straps and holsters for firefighters and EMS employees. Those are very customizable and very popular. They're actually the probably the bread and butter of Dead Sled. It's been able to fund the growth. So And very... I know that's important to you because you're a full-time paramedic still yes. to this day, yes. even with this business. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to continue serving? I was born to be a paramedic. Mm -hmm. I've wanted to do it since I was a child, and not a lot of people are doing what they set out to do. And I feel very humble and grateful that I am. And as long as I can keep doing both, I'm going to keep doing both. All right. Well, you can come visit Dead Sled Leather Company at Melwood Art Center. Now, the hours are a little um, funky sometimes. You have to go to social media since he does work as a full-time paramedic and check out when he's going to be open here at the shop. Alex Durham, WLKY9.